Um, my name is Rebecca Chow and I live in Egypt. HarassMap works to end the social acceptability of sexual harassment. We thought that in order for a new law to be effective or even the old laws to be effective, first we have to make a change in the social attitude. And right now, <laughs> the social attitude is not something that, uh, that will support legal implementation. Um, this is different than in Egypt's past. In Egypt's past, it was completely unacceptable and shameful to harass women in the street um, or anywhere else. Uh, it was embarrassing. People, if, if they saw someone being harassed, would chase them and shave the head of the harasser and everyone knew that these were the guys who were caught harassing and it was shameful. And now it's the opposite. Now everyone makes excuses for the harassers and blames the victims. And these excuses are supported by propaganda and popular myths and stereotypes. So what we try and do is to motivate bystanders and witnesses to change these stereotypes that they have that prevent them from taking action and generate all these excuses for the harassers and the blaming of the victim. And we do this by creating um, a reporting system where victims and witnesses can speak out and break the silence and document what's happening. We use the information that comes from our reporting system and we take it to the streets with 700 volunteers all over Egypt. And this is the, my favorite part. This is the part where we feel the impact comes from and about 90% of our energy goes into this, the community work. So they, they try to create enough people that are active against harassment and that are willing to make their area like a harassment free zone or a safe area and build up enough people in each street and in each neighborhood, and hopefully in the whole country, eventually, uh, to, to make harassers not feel comfortable anymore, to not feel encouraged or uh, like they can act without consequences. It's dangerous and, and everything, but the, the spirit is really nice. And it's really inspiring to hear people's personal stories and how really terrible things can happen to them personally and to the people they know. And instead of becoming like sad and bitter or angry, they turn it around and they do something really positive and they form their own communities around it and it's really inspiring.